What is up peeps? Darlene Weenie here. I am back with another video for the channel. Today we are taking you guys, I say we, why am I saying we? It's me, myself and I. So today I am in the kitchen and I am bringing to you guys, as you could tell by the title of this video, I'm showing you guys some quick and simple snacks slash desserts for on the go or when maybe when you're at home and these are pretty healthy um, I usually try to stay away from sugar although I don't cancel it completely out of my diet because I just don't like to restrict that much I mean I do eat things in moderation like I'll have a bite here and I'll have a bite there but reality is you can't avoid something for forever so you might as well just incorporate it into your diet and um, go on with that so if you guys make it take a picture tag me on Instagram I love to see your your recreations maybe you guys have better ideas on how to do these and you guys have different toppings or or you guys can add some other things that oh maybe I can add them as well and before I go on with this video I know you're watching so just Give me a like make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new and you can join the darlene weenie gang and yeah let's have fun so for the first dessert i am making some oatmeal cookies and this does not require flour at all that's one of the things that i like best about this dessert is that it has no flour so let's get right down to it i am using 35 grams of peanut butter two ripe bananas or 150 grams and 90 grams of oats and then 60 grams of protein for this recipe the oatmeal cookies I really really suggest that you use really ripe bananas because the less ripe they are the harder it is it's going to be to mix so and I use this scale right here to measure my ingredients I got the scale from Walmart kind of more like a little bit more accuracy but honestly you can do this like just kind of guesstimating the amounts I don't think it would be such a big deal and the other thing that I'm using is this holy grail here shout out to miss Patrice Williams my boyfriend's mom for recommending that we get this product it's awesome when I whenever I have to mash bananas I don't have to do it manually with the fork I can use this thing right here so kind of has like a blade and then the inside of that and then you just press this and it'll spin and it's kind of like a blender so that's that's re it's it's really easy to use you don't need one of these to make this recipe you can honestly just do it with a fork um, whatever works best for you but if you have this at home go ahead and, and, and use it it's a lot more easier okay so in this bowl I already have my oats my 90 grams of oats now I'm going to add 35 grams of peanut butter Okay, that was 32 grams, but it's fine. It'll work I have a hard time staying away from the spoonfuls of peanut butter. Okay, let's move on. Bananas. Adding the bananas. So I actually want to see if these two bananas equal to 150 grams. Um, I might use all of it. I might not. So let's see. That's actually 108 grams, so I'm going to go ahead and add more of this one. That equal to 151 grams. I'll save that piece for later. Now you guys are going to see how easy it is to use this thing. My top. Lost the top. A few moments later. Okay. 
So you close the sheet up. And we press. Okay, now that it's all blended and a good consistency, just take this out to the side. And we pour. You gotta get every bit of it. Don't like wasting food. And anything that does not get used goes in my belly. Okay, we are left with drum roll. The star of the show, Mr. Protein over here. I'm using salted caramel. For some reason, 60 grams of protein kind of seems like a lot. So I'm going to go with 38 grams right now and I'm going to see how it turns out. And if it needs more, then I'll add some more. And if not, I'll stop there. And we stir our life away. Fire. Fire. I could eat this on its own. This is what the consistency consistency looks like. I forgot to preheat the oven, so I'm gonna have to wait till it heats up. Okay, we got 130 degrees to go. 130, wait, that is completely wrong. Anyways, I'm horrible at math. 375, let's get it. Okay, we are using this pan right here and we're going in with this extra virgin olive oil. I did forget to get non-sticking spray, so this will have to do. Okay, so here we have six cookies. I did them kind of big, so 
only six came out but you can obviously make them smaller these are kind of like average cookie size if you want to make them smaller you can and I try not to make them so thick or put a lot of uh, the mixture on them when I'm about to put them in the oven because I don't want them to be completely raw in the middle Ooh, you guys hear that got 375 baby put these bad boys in the oven and we shall wait I like to leave them in there for only a little bit of time because I do like them a little bit gooey and I know some people don't like their cookies gooey they like them more hard but I like them gooey so I'm gonna leave them in there for about 10 minutes and then I'll, I'll check them to see how they're doing and if they need a little bit more time then I'll continue to leave them in there okay I'm gonna wash and clean everything that I used right now and then we'll get started on the second dessert so the cookies have been in there for about 10 minutes I think I'm gonna add a topping to the cookies I'm gonna add these chocolate chips it's called Lily's milk chocolate style baking chips and these are they don't have a lot of calories for 26 chips of these it's 55 calories so that's pretty good so I'm gonna add like two or three on them on the cookies and I'm gonna put them back in there so that they can melt and then they'll be ready We're gonna give it a taste test. That's really good. All right, peeps. Next up, we have some yogurt bars. These are super good, they're super easy to make, and they're done very quickly. So Let's get right down to it. The strawberries, I do have to cut them up in smaller pieces. And then I am going to get a handful of these chocolate chips and melt them. So first I'm taking some of this Oiko's triple zero yogurt. This yogurt is really good. Like. It has 17 grams of protein, which is great. And then it has zero grams of added sugar, and it has zero artificial sweeteners, and it has 0% fat. A serving for this yogurt, it's 3 fourths of a cup, and that equals to 110 calories, so that's pretty good with the amount of protein that it has. That's pretty solid. Um, so I'm gonna start off by Obviously opening this and oh. oh god. Does anybody else get annoyed when you can't get the whole thing like off in one piece? That's one of the most annoying things. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour some of this yogurt in this bowl. Honestly, I'm not um being particular about how much I just kind of guesstimate and then I'm going to add some and then I'm gonna add some of the whey protein so I'm adding one scoop and I don't think I've ever said it but one scoop of this protein equals to 21 grams of protein so that just adds a boost of protein and also it adds flavor And then when all of the protein dissolves, I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to cut some strawberries. Now there's, there's this one thing like people, sometimes when people use strawberries for cooking, they chop this whole part out. I do not like doing that. I literally just take the leaves out 
or even if it still stays a little bit all you gotta do is kind of cut it into to where it looks like this see I didn't really take off too much fruit we gotta save and conserve food people And now that we cut up the strawberries, we're gonna set them aside. Then I'm gonna use a pan, I'm using this crystal one. And you will need some non-stick parchment paper. This is just a simple one from Walmart. And then we're just gonna drop the mixture into the pan with the parchment paper under. I'm just gonna cut the sides of this a little bit. So now I'm just gonna add some toppings to it which is going to be my chia seeds, the granola, and the strawberries. Then we're going to mix it a little bit. Now that we have our main thing done, I'm going to put some of these chocolate chips in a bowl and I'm going to put it in the microwave so that we can put it on top of the yogurt. So kind of just guesstimating, don't really know how much, kind of just for aesthetics maybe and a little bit of flavor. We're just going to put it in the freezer. It doesn't take that long. It also depends how thick you make the layer. So if you want it to be done as quick as possible, just put a thin layer. If you want it, if you don't need it till tomorrow or something, you want it a little bit thicker, go ahead and put some more, but it will take longer. So we're going to put that in the freezer and then we wait. Okay, so the protein yogurt has been in the freezer for quite some time now I'm just going to separate it from the pan and the parchment paper and I'm going to place it on a plate and then I'll show you guys the final product dessert slash snack um, this one is protein balls 
so they're literally balls of protein what you will need is peanut butter oats protein powder syrup i use sugar-free syrup and melted chocolate Okay, so for this dessert, um, we are going to mix everything in this bowl. And by everything, I mean the peanut butter, the protein, the oats, and the syrup. Now the chocolate, we are going to cover the balls in chocolate after they're finished. So we're going to do the mixture first here. And then we'll go ahead and melt the chocolate and then put it all around the, the protein balls. Okay, we're gonna start off with 160 grams of peanut butter. Okay, now that we got our peanut butter in, we're gonna go ahead and add the oats. One scoop going in. So now I'm just gonna stir it. This one's kind of tough to stir because there's a lot of dry ingredients. You just kind of have to get it to a good consistency. Okay, now that it's all mixed, I am going to grab some chunks of it and I'm just going to create um, balls. This is what it looks like. Okay, now we got all our little balls all right here we got one two three four five six seven eight eight balls out of that um, mixture so now what I'm gonna do is get some of these chocolates and I'm gonna melt them in the microwave and now I'm gonna dip the balls in the chocolate and then that's about it You can either put these in the fridge or you can eat them as is. Alright peeps, so that concludes the video. Do let me know if you guys like these types of videos. I love doing them. I love food, so making a video is just a plus. Please, 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 I ask that you please give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and join the Darlene Weenie fam. I would love to have you guys here. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys recreate this, these recipes. And if you do, like I said in the beginning, take a picture of them, post them on Instagram, and give me a tag. I would love to see your creations. So thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.